there, Kate McShay coming to you from my home office in Washington State. Hope you're doing well. I had something I really felt like I needed to share with you today, so I decided to do it through a video presentation. Um, so, what I wanted to talk to you about was the power of affirmations, but one little tweak you can do to create even more meaning and even more value in the affirmations that you use. Now, I learned this little trick from our mentor, Ray, and I just felt that it was super powerful and needed to share it with you because I feel like if you start doing this as well, it's going to totally take your affirmations to a whole new level. Now, I used to use affirmations with my second graders when I used to teach, and they're just a powerful way to bring self-confidence to anybody. Some examples that I used to use with my second graders were, I'm a strong reader, I am a powerful writer, I am a great sympathetic friend. These are things that they are all trying to work on and focus on and to continue to develop and it, those affirmations were really great things to show them that they are aware and capable of doing that. Same thing works for adults. Um, affirmations are a way that I start off my day on um, things that I want to self-develop and things that I want to continue to push forward in and show that I have that confidence and that power inside of me. So affirmations are something that I highly recommend you do, you kick your day off with, um, because they are super powerful. But there's one tweak that I have found to be really useful that I said our mentor Ray taught us is changing your affirmation from just a statement I am a strong leader to putting it into a question, adding a why or adding a how into that affirmation statement. So instead of, and I'm going to step back a little bit so you can actually see my board, I'm a strong leader, you change it into why am I a strong leader. And the reasoning for that is because your brain, when you ask your brain a question, your brain automatically searches for an answer. Okay? Even with your statement, with your affirmation, I was finding a lot of times, if I was saying my affirmations, I'm a strong leader, in my head, I was saying why. So I had to further search for that, because a lot of times your affirmations are really broad, and they're supposed to be. That's okay. There's things that you believe in and that you want to happen in your self-development. But by adding a why, your brain automatically searches for answers. Okay, so here are a few examples I wanted to show you that I came up with when I was journaling a few weeks back. And when I added why to one of the statements that I had had, I am a strong leader, when I added why, why am I a strong leader, these were just a few of the things I came up with, and I'll share a few more with you from my journal afterwards. So, why am I a strong leader? I give meaningful value to others. I lead by example. I dedicate my time to helping others. I am available to help support others. Excuse is not a word in my vocabulary. And I am focused, determined, and persistent. So by just adding why and changing it into a question, I was able to actually come up with reasons as to why I was a strong leader or I am a strong leader. Okay? Now by doing that, I've also come up with even more affirmations in a way that are all compiled now into this one category of being a strong leader. And so my brain automatically says that I give meaningful value to others because I'm a strong leader. I lead by example because I'm a strong leader. I dedicate my time to helping others because I'm a strong leader. And so my brain is actually shifting the way it thinks rather than just saying, I'm a strong leader and my brain's trying to search for why and grab all these different reasons why and put them in a category, I'm doing it myself. Okay? Does that, I hope that makes sense to everybody. So this is why it's super powerful to change your affirmations into questions. Um, some other examples, because why am I a strong leader, may not be something that you need. You may need something like, so I am focused, determined, and persistent. I would break it down to... How am I focused? How am I determined? Or why am I persistent? And so then you use those questions and you break it down even further to find your answers. Okay? So let me give you a few more for why I am a, why am I a strong leader. And let's see. I had because oh, why am I a strong leader? I put profession and before comfort and a sedentary lifestyle. I follow through with my goals. I teach others to value their passion. I am available to help support others. 
I call others to see how I can help them. So these were all ways that I was brainstorming why I'm a strong leader. And I, I really hope that that makes sense, and I really challenge you to change your affirmations. Number one, if you're not doing affirmations, I would challenge you to start implementing them into your day wherever you can fit them. Morning is a really great way because it's a good way to kickstart your day. But I challenge you, if you are doing affirmations or you're going to start, is to turn them into questions. So why am I or how am I? Because that automatically, as I said before, will train your brain to think of reasons why or think of reasons how you can be that. And you're going to have a higher success rate of accomplishing those affirmations and really believing in self-development. So I hope that this gave you value. If it did, I'd like for you to comment below and give us a little bit of feedback. And if you really got some great value and you continue to like to hear what we have to say on a daily basis, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get the updates on things that we're doing and things that we're sharing with you. Have a great one.